Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Dina and today I'm here with a pro wrestling crate. It's not only a pro wrestling crate, it is my first pro wrestling crate. So that is something to be pretty excited about. I decided to sign up for this because for Valentine's Day, they released some of the superstars they'd be featuring and there were a ton of old WWE superstars that I liked and that's why I wanted this. I had been hesitant to get this box because I don't like showing off that I don't know a lot of wrestlers outside of WWE. Not to mention, aside from just people on YouTube seeing that I don't know these people, what am I gonna do with their stuff, you know? So, obviously, anyone who watches this channel knows I'm a big fan of that Wrestle Club, which is now Pro Wrestling Crate. So, I'll probably keep the subscription. I think I'm going to. You know, let's get some micro brawlers. Let's do this. So, I'm now happy to be a part of the Pro Wrestling Crate family. I'm glad that this was that Wrestle Club's decision. And, you know, I gotta wish them the best. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, I'm really excited to see what's in here. I was excited that there were Bret Hart items, Brother Love items. I mean, woo! Who, oh, this all look at, look how nicely folded everything is. I'm really liking it. So, for the love of hearts, it's Valentine's Day crate. And the charity that a portion I'm assuming goes to is the Owen Hart Foundation. So I will have to look more into what the charity is and how you can contribute and if it's automatic and whatnot. Cause that's totally cool. We got two t-shirts. One of them I saw thumbnail of, so I didn't appreciate that. But so I'll start, oh no, it wasn't the t-shirt, it was the fanny pack. <laughs> These used to be over. So Bruce always talks about, you know, I used to be over and all these great things in his podcast, Something to Wrestle. That is definitely one of my favorite podcasts. And I kind of know that inevitably at some point a fanny pack is going to come in handy. I mean, when I go to wrestling shows, you know, I'm a Disney nerd. This is going to come in handy. It's sad, but true. And at a wrestling event, you can't judge me for it. If I'm going to the events I go to, all right, you're already a nerd on arrival. So I don't really need to worry about the fanny pack. So that's the first item I'm showcasing because this I saw. I thought it was a t-shirt, but um, turns out it was just that. So, ooh, wow, these micro brawlers really are micro. <laughs> I was expecting them to be a little bigger, but I hear these are very popular. And so this is what I mean when I say I don't know everyone featured. So this is Koda Ibushi. And maybe as I see these, um, you know, professional wrestlers featured, I'll seek them out and look into it. And this could be a great new way for me to discover some new wrestlers. So this is the micro brawler here. Very fun. The G star, is that like gang star? You know, what is that G star? Gotta, gotta do my research. Don't make fun of me in the comments below, okay? Next we have a pin and I like this pin. I like pins in general. I'm all about pins. Some people say, oh, the pin, I just give it away. Why would you give this away? Why would you ever give a pin away? Okay, sometimes there are times when you should give a pin away, but this is not one of them. This is not a time to give away a pin. This is a Mick Foley dude love pin, and I love having him a part of my new wrestling pin family. All right, we've got, we've got the mouth of the South, the dream on the scene. I made that one up now. Maybe he said it before, but it's Jimmy Hart. And I guess this is kind of, oh, it's a shoot interview. All right. Let's see who's in here. It's Greg the Hammer Valentine and Whenever I f see him, I feel sad because whenever I see him in person, 
He did that every single like convention sitting alone. And it's like, well, you've been to them all. Anyone who needs your autograph has gotten it. So, except for me, I never did go and get it. So at least now I have it. And this is a really nice quality paper it comes on. It's very nice. I'm glad I'll still be getting an autograph now that I don't have um, that wrestling club. But um, yeah, he's highly accessible. Highly accessible. So, you know, that's how I feel about that. But it comes nicely packed. Very flat at the bottom of the box. These are all good things. And I just don't see what I'm going to watch on this. Okay, so he has some great stories that will leave you laughing. His musical career. Working for Jerry Jarrett and Jerry Lawler, Andy Kaufman. Getting the call from WWE. All right. You know, maybe maybe this will be some fun viewing. You know, might as well hang on and see. Let's get to the shirts, okay? We have a red one and a black one. I wonder what size did I get for these? I got an XL. Okay. Johnny Rose. I love the graphic. Let's see. Let me have a... Oh, I love it because it kind of gives me... It says all hearts. It kind of gives me um, Super Mario vibes. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Super cute. I like it. I think it uh, contributes to the value of the box. That's what I think about that. And uh, all right. All right. I like it. I'm kind of digging this. I'm digging it. And I'll tell you why. So this is the Bret Hart shirt that is featured in this box. And what I like about this shirt is that I can picture it in a 1990s WWF catalog where they're modeling the shirt. Like this has that style to me. And I think at the end of the day, that's what many of us just want to recapture and relive. Those awesome glory days of wrestling. As a first timer with this box, I like it. I think I'm liking it more knowing that that Wrestle Club is no longer an option to me. So this is a great second now, I guess, first for me. I liked that I got two t-shirts. I liked that included Bruce Pritchard. I liked that I get a pin. Um, an autograph is nice. The micro brawler is nice. Um, I wish I was familiar with Coda, but that's okay. I don't like the DVDs because I find whenever I get one of these DVDs, it's just of something that I don't want to see. So if there was an item that I could get rid of or replace, it would be DVDs going forward, you know, forever. That's how I feel on that. But I will leave all information for Pro Wrestling Crate below. If you're interested in signing up or reading about it or learning more about it, I am hoping to kind of do a thoughts video for wrestling. I haven't gotten to do that yet. Some, I haven't spoken about wrestling on here in a long time and I have like a lot bottled up because there's all this like AEW stuff and whenever somebody says they're leaving or asking for a release, people are saying, oh, they want to go to AEW and all this stuff. It's like, it's getting people talking, which is a lot of fun. And with Dean Ambrose leaving, some people say, oh, it's just, it's a work. But what I think would be like more brilliant and amazing would be if Ty Dillinger asking for his release was a work. And then all of a sudden, like Ty Dillinger is like back and gets this awesome push. That's my hot take right now is that I want the Ty Dillinger release to be a work and that he's going to become the perfect 10 in a very heel way again. That's what's on my mind for wrestling. Yeah, that's it. I thought I might have more. That's what's on my mind. Thanks so much for watching this. Once again, it's Pro Wrestling Crate. I am Nina with Wrestling with Disney. Everything's going to be linked below for Pro Wrestling Crate. Pro wrestling crate as well as my info if you want to connect on social media thanks and i'll see you at the next box because i didn't cancel the subscription so it's coming back